Day four of the RFS Fluid Links Advent Calendar. And the question today is from Andy D.D. Who, D.D. Who, Zoden's brother, uh, is on Twitter. Good name. The question is, what view about Doctor Who that you have previously expressed are you most embarrassed about in retrospect? Ooh, that's wow. easy. <laughs> wow. Oh, easy, you say. Oh, you have one. What, what, do, you, what do you got? Oh, yeah. What, which one? Which one? Oh, uh, back in the day, I'll... Well, I, I, I will say our collectively, but uh-huh. my especially RTD bashing. Oh, yeah, you bashed. You didn't like uh, him. I didn't bash him as much. No, not as much as I did, but uh, no. yeah, and no, I, I far and away regret that the most, if anything. Really? Having, oh, yeah, because uh, over time, over time, um, watching things for the, you know, a second or a third time or whatever, and not to mention just seeing his other work, like years and years, for example. Um, he, I, 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 I always gave him credit as a, a good producer and that was, that I think that's always been the case, but less so as a writer. And I'm, uh, I've definitely, definitely come around a hundred and some odd degrees re- relative to his writing. Wow. Not a full 180 yet, but uh, <laughs> there's still some the hate there. There's at this still point. some hate there is what you're saying. There's got to be some, right? Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. I mean, he wrote Gridlock after all. So, uh, how dare you? Gridlock is great. Yeah, I can't tell. Is he, are you pro or uh, anti Gridlock? Oh, I'm still not a fan of Gridlock. Okay. Well, then you should you should think about how wrong you are. Yeah. What about Vaporlock? Oh, I have been. Vaporlock. I might Something? get there one day. Okay. Um, Vaporlock is a thing. Yes. Thank is, you, Dan Marino. Dan, was, was it Dan Marino? No, it's Joe Namath. Yeah. Um, Joe Namath. Thank you. Uh. Brr, brr, brr. Oh boy, let's see. You know what? Because I'm always like Mr. Sunny Optimism when it comes to Doctor Who. So any view I sort of like have at the time, I kind of regret after thinking I shouldn't have been as sunny and optimistic. And I I remember, <laughs> I remember that I okay, so I was very angry with uh, with part one of the end of time. Uh, I remember that, and then I recall. No, you're right to be so. I recall. No, what I I recall being. Um, sort of like, well, it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be, and it certainly couldn't be any worse than part one. So I think I was swayed by the last 10 to 15 minutes of the end of time at the time. Uh, but I now look back and like, I sort of said, oh, that was a, that was not, I, th- I think I even used the, um, dumb and dumber thing, you know, um, about snatching it from the jaws of defeat. I can't remember what the actual quote is. Um, but I regret that now, and I should have stuck with my hatred of the end of time back in 2010. <laughs> and I, I'm, embar- I'm embarrassed about that. No, 2010, because it was the New Year's Day. It was part two that uh, oh that I was. I, 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 have, annoyed with. I have two. End of two parter. Well, end end of time part this. one. End of time part one. Yeah. We we three all watched together, and we hated it. It was just and collectively despised it. it, it. Yeah, I, that uh, honestly, in, in retrospect, maybe that influenced me having to watch Doctor Who with no, a pair it's of st- it's still pretty no? bad. Okay, uh, that's that's you, a fair point. You have two Warren. You have two regrets. Yes, I have two. Uh, okay. One Doctor Who and one Doctor Who related. All right. Uh, my first one is forty two, which we hyped ourselves up. To, for some reason, because well, Graham Harper directed it, and then we're disappointed by it. And then I watched it just independently a year or two ago, and I was like, this is actually really good. This is really well put together. I don't know what the hell we were thinking at the time. Um, uh-huh. And the other thing is that I used to make fun of shippers and fanficers and all the rest oh, of it, and I was God. dead wrong. Yeah. Dead wrong, I tells you. And I've done some of them on that shipping, but eh, I probably did some shipping in my time, but, but You've done I've definitely done fanfic. So, so basically, I recant all those. Terrible, horrible views. I probably said some other nasty stuff just to get a laugh, and I apologize for that, too. I think so. And the, the great thing is, when I say great, I mean terrible and scary and terrifying, is that <laughs> all of our mistakes have been recorded over the past 13 and a half years. <laughs> don't, don't think I haven't thought of that. <laughs> so that we can just get back there. Okay, what did we say? Oh, my heavens, we talked about this. You know, That's yeah. part of why I haven't listened to any of that stuff. I'm like, I don't want to listen to young me being dumb uh, or younger uh, me anyway. Uh, we're so dumb. We were very dumb. Agreed. Very dumb back then. Um, but, uh, at, at the end of the day, the end of time is still crap. 